Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. Welcome back to the second part of the limits lesson. All right, so um, let's pick up where we left off. Actually, this is the this is the stuff after where we left off. Here's where we uh, left off before. We had our graphs here and finding the limits. So sometimes you won't have graphs. Sometimes you're just going to have functions here. Now we actually did something like this um, at the very beginning of the first video. Let's see if that will pull up. Oops, that's bit messy let's get rid of that there yeah so remember this one here where we went through and we made ourselves a little t chart and we figured out exactly where uh, the limit goes to okay so we can for these problems here we can do that same thing we can go through and make a t chart see where it goes to now um, probably an easier way is actually going to put this to be to put this on your graphing calculator and take a look and see what happens to it Okay, so let's try that out and see what happens. So we got the limit um, as x approaches 3 of x plus 7. So what, all we want to do on the y equals, get into that, clear anything out that's already in there. And then we're going to go in here and we're simply going to put in x plus 7 and graph that thing. Okay, ooh, let's see this window looks goofy so I'm gonna do zoom and I'm gonna do standard once it's gonna let me do that here it popped up zoom standard number six and then it'll simply give us a 10 by 10 grid okay so now <clears throat> you can actually go through and you can actually trace on this thing so here's when x equals zero so as we move over here as we're getting closer and closer, look at our x value. We want to see what happens as x approaches 3. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer. 3, 9.5, 9.7, 9. almost 9. And then we're, we're just past 3. We're at 10.03. And as we keep going past that, it's going to get bigger and bigger. So basically, as we're really close to the value of 3, we're pretty much going to 10. So that's what that limit would be. Okay. Much nicer and easier than plugging that, plugging each one of those, um, plugging in a whole bunch of numbers and calculating all those and see what's happening. Cause you can just look at it on your graph. Usually not all the time, but most of the time that will work. Okay. Let's, uh, let, we can try some of these other ones out and, uh, see what we get. So back here into, again, just hit Y equals, so you get the graph here, and then let's do 4X plus 1, and we want to know what happens as X is approaching 0. So we're going to hit graph. Here is, hopefully our graph is going to show up. There it is, 4X plus 1. <clears throat> and then we can just simply hit, oh, not zoom. Sorry, we can do 6. It'll take us right back to where we were. Okay, but what we're going to want to do is push trace, and we can see what's happening on both sides. So we push trace, and look, there's x, actually x equals 0. Let's just kind of check to see what's happening on this side. It's at negative 1, negative 0.8, negative 0.2. Now it's up above at 0.39 when it's, x is at negative 0.15. And look, it's actually right there at 0. And if you go up to the other side, you can see it going up. So this here... Is simply approaching zero okay um, <clears throat> now also you can look at this here and say hey look there's no there's no way we're gonna divide by divide by zero because there's no division in here so you could just in theory just plug that thing in but again it doesn't always work to plug them in like this 3 minus 3 wouldn't work this negative 2 plus 2 won't work doesn't work and this zero in here won't work so you could plug this one in and and just see what happens or we can just kind of keep putting stuff in our graph, which is kind of a nice way to do it because then you can actually see what the graph is looking like. Okay, so on this one here, I'm gonna do parentheses, x squared plus five x, x squared plus five x, uh, close that off, divide by x, and then graph that thing. Let's see what this one looks like. Still pretty much a straight line. Okay, so here we go, as x approaches 1. So we can just push trace, and as x is getting closer and closer to 1, so we're watching that value there, the y is getting 5.7, 5.9, and it just went past 1, and now it's 6.06, so this thing is approaching 
six would be the limit. So if you if you look in here, if we plug in one, one squared is one, plus five times one is five, all over one, that's six over one, which is simply six, okay? Now, just simply plugging it in like these we could up here uh, won't work for this down here because again, you're gonna get this dividing by zero and the universe would want to model for that. What we're gonna do instead, plug this in to our graph. So these problems here, D, E, and F is where it's going to be really a lot more beneficial to plug this into the graphing calculator. Now, if you don't happen, happen to have a graphing calculator, you can also use some kind of online graphing uh, platform while you're, you know, uh, at, at home away from our set of graphing calculators in class. Like Desmos is a great uh, option for that usually. Okay, so plug in this one in here. Again, I've got two terms in the top, so I'm going to put those in parentheses. So x squared plus 5x. And then, again, this is actually the same function as this one of, up here, but now we're going to see. And then we divide by x here and hit graph. And we're going to see what happens as it approaches 0. So look, we're cruising through right here. And this is makes a nice straight line, so this should be nice here also. Now, here's something that's really interesting. When we push trace, it says x equals 0, y equals blank. It doesn't give you anything because guess what? There's no, There can't be any graph right there because you can't plug in 0 for x because, you, again, you're dividing by 0, so that doesn't work. So all we really need to do is check on both sides, 4.84. So it's getting closer and closer to it looks like 5. And then we go just past it. And y is 5.15. So this here is approaching 5. Okay. All right. I've got a couple more to do. And then we're all done with these. So again, just keep plugging these into your calculator and see what's happening with them. Okay. Okay. Here's our function for e here. And we hit graph. And there we go. We get another little straight line. These won't always be straight lines. Sometimes they'll be straight lines. Sometimes they're going to be curved lines. Um, but for now, these here, trying to make these uh, a little bit nicer, and they're pretty much just straight lines, and that's okay. So we want to do trace. It's always going to start us off when x equals 0. We want to figure out what's happening when x is close to negative 2. So go back here. We're at negative 1, getting closer and closer to negative 2. Our y value is at negative 1.67, 1 1.8, negative 1 1.9, 6. And look, now we're just past negative 2, and it's at negative 2.12. So this is going to equal negative 2 for the limit there. Okay? All right, last one. Let's plug this one in and see what it looks like. Here's our function. Hit graph. And... It's thinking, and there, here we go. Here's one of our curved, our curved graphs here. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so we'll do, uh, do our trace as x equals zero, y equals one. But we want to know what's happening as it's getting closer and closer to three. So, here we are at x is two. We're at negative point one nine. And it's actually going down now. It's coming back up two point eight seven. It's getting pretty close. It's negative zero point. 3, and now we're just past 3, and now it's just barely past 0. So it looks like this thing here, its limit is 0. Okay? All right. Uh, that's really all we have for this last piece here. There's also another, I'm going to put a link down in the description below, and it's to this here, a link to explanation of limits. It kind of explains it in a little bit different way that might uh, might help you better understand this if this is still a little bit confusing. Uh, and again, I will put this address down below. You should be able to just click on that and maybe take a quick uh, look at that if you get a chance. Okay. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.